Before we move on, we might be talking about uh, next year's show a little bit, but uh, I need to say one thing that one thing that nobody probably really cares about, but the one thing about this past show that kind of blew my mind. All right. Two items were lost the entire time, and both were returned within moments. Um, I wondered about that because I usually end up with a box of. Of lost and found. We will end up with items like uh, birth certificates with a hunt, like t- uh, like a thousand dollars stapled to it, like across the top. <laughs> like their social security card on it, and I'll say their name over and over again. It'll be a very specific name, and no one will ever come for it. And I just have to turn this in. It'll be items with names on them, and and everybody just, I guess, here's the name over the intercom over the uh, overhead and they're just like well i guess somebody else in this venue has that name because i'm not i'm not i don't yeah. lose anything and they just continue about their life yeah, yeah there's always a so cell weird. phone or a set of keys or let, yeah, a wallet let, with let it be sure to uh to, to pronounce this correctly uh con goers are the losingest people on earth not they are that they are not losers, but they are the losingist. Yeah, they're very <laughs> loose with their possessions at the convention. One time, Brandon and I worked at an event. I don't know <laughs> if we told this story. You know where no. I'm going with this already, don't you, Brandon? No. I we saw an event picture. for some other company one time, and uh, someone lost their wallet. And do you know what I'm talking about, Brandon? You, yes, I'm, I have the yeah. picture here. Oh, he's got oh. a picture of it. Okay, we can't show Evidence the picture. Should ideas, I continue but, the story? But, huh? Should I continue it? Because I have yeah, the yeah, name. No, no, you tell the story then. You you, you go off. So one of the volunteers uh, pulls up to the merch table and says, hey, and he, he, he gives me a, a an ID and, uh, and, and, a, and a credit card. He's like, hey, this was found out. Uh, this was found out in the parking lot. And I was like, I looked at it and I, I, I looked at the ID to make sure that it had like the reflection thing on it. And I took a look at the credit card. I'm like, you, you got to be messing with me, dude. And, and uh, he said, no, no, this is absolutely real. And like, he, he's a guy who jokes around. He was very solemn because he saw the name. He saw how ridiculous it was. <laughs> he knew what he was getting into. He knew. And so I get, I get the mic. I'm like, Hey, uh, event name here. Um, got some lost items here. Would a Richard D. Nut please come to the official merch booth? You have lost something. Would would Richard D. Nut? His name was Dick Nut. And to this day, and I probably shouldn't. I actually do have like on his credit card. My thumb is over the over the pertinent information but yeah richard d nut old double d nut um is uh he's in my phone uh forever because i i will never forget that name I think someone brandon did not even, do well in high school probably oh, not man. probably not and Imagine. i think brandon even like asked the cop that was on duty like will you please look at this and tell me that this is a, <laughs> not a fake yes ID? and the cop was like no it's real that's a real id 